So we're gonna be taking a camera inside VistaWay and show you what it looks like. Okay, look at this. <laughs> they had a hot tub here. They had to fill it in with concrete. Today we're gonna be exploring one of the most infamous apartment complexes in the entire world. It's one of Disney's darkest little secrets, Vista Way. Now if you don't know what Vista Way is, it was an apartment complex that was built in 1988. Disney housed their Disney College Program students there. The best way to describe anybody who stayed at Vista Way is, you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. So my friend Shelby actually did stay at Vista Way multiple times. Now Shelby, you have inhabited a very strange place called Vista Way. I lived there two times. The first time it was for maybe about six months, and then the second time for maybe three months. Knowing that I was gonna live in Vista Way, I was really upset. Just because Vista Way has a reputation. Just that it's like kind of crusty and party central of the DCP and not as nice as the other apartments, right? And we showed up, like checked in, walked into that apartment, and it was like very dirty. The, the sinks had like hairs left over, but then they were like painted over so you could still see the hairs. My bathroom light, we had to go in and bang it for it to turn on. Like you would flip the switch and then you would hit it until it turned on. We were like, whatever, it's fine. So that was a very crusty apartment. I really liked living there. You became one with the crust? I did, I, we called it Vista Slay. I think we did have a raccoon in our ceiling, but like I liked it. It's a very interesting place. If you go to Urban Dictionary, you type in Vista Way, it pops up with this, Vista Lay. You can only imagine, right? A bunch of college students from all over the world in one spot, pure magic. This happened. There are many, many stories, many tales that will never be told. Disney actually sold Vista Way. They sold the entire property to build Flamingo Crossing. So, what happened to Vista Way? Did they demolish it? Who's there now? What does it look like? Well, one of my friends, TJ, is living there right now. He's about to move out. So, we're going to be taking a camera inside Vista Way and show you what it looks like now. Move in special. Now leasing Emerald Grove Apartments? Wait, what is this? That's not Vista Way. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this is bizarre. If you remember, dude, security was so hostile all the time. This is where the little um, bars would be. Oh, we're gonna have to, oh, I cannot wait to tour all this. What? I have so many memories of picking up my friends over here. Okay, first thing I wanna do is I wanna go to the pond. Uh, when the college program kids would finish their program, they would chuck all their non slip shoes and work shoes into the pond. Okay, so there's a ritual apparently at Vista Way after you finish your program. You chuck your Disney shoes in the pond. Someone also stole a golf cart one time, drove it into the pond. So I want to see if there's still shoes <laughs> in the pond. Nice. Sadly, there's no shoes or golf carts in the little pond. But I remember there were these like there were these really aggressive ducks or geese that would be here. So it looks like the company came in, they put in new windows, painted it. Doesn't look as ratchet as it used to be. Carved their name into the concrete, NH09. They got new AC units, what? Vista was so ratchet back in the day. The stories, if the walls could talk, every one of those couches need to be burned. Hopefully they did not like send them to Goodwill or something, like need to be thrown out. All right, let's see your humble abode, let's see how it looks. What's up MTV, welcome to my crib. Um, it's pretty empty, but welcome to uh, 1503. Apologies for the mess. New floor? Yeah, new floor. Oh my I'm god, the layout. Actively moving out, so I apologize for the mess now. But this is this is it. This is the crib. We got the living area. Okay, you would fit two people in this small little room. Two people? Yeah. This was this was one person by themselves. No, you would have a little bed right here and another bed right here with two nightstands. The closet is bigger than what we have in Patterson. They redid all the sinks. The mirrors, because dude, these things were so crusty, they'd always be like falling apart. <laughs> so you just felt gross just even washing your hands in Vista. It's a decent little reaper. Look. Yeah, the nights, the lights are really nice. So these you can change, like the intensity uh, of the light. Then in here, actual proper like tile. It's simple, but it's not ratchet like how it used to be. I went to one Vista Way party, and I walked in there, and there was like 50 people. They were screaming. <laughs> In the bathroom, there were all sorts of things happening in there, and like it was a true Vista Way party. I was there about like 15 minutes. I was like, I'm good, and I went back to Patterson Court. I'm not a big partier. I've experienced the stuff, but I don't enjoy it one bit. In the kitchen, they redid the kitchen appliances. I don't think you understand. It was so 
terrible. Everything was just like falling apart. You just find mold and like cockroaches everywhere in the college program housing. How much is it a month? I think it's like over two grand for this apartment. Okay, so if I remember correctly, only the commons had laundry machines in their unit. The Vistaway 2.0 apartments have laundry. Okay, look at this. <laughs> I think it's time to change the filter. Listen. Okay, that is, that is, you are dying. That is terrible. Listen, the amount, of, the amount of crap I ate when I was a kid, the amount of dirt I ate when I was a kid, this is nothing. This is how they fit laundry machines in here. It could have been done. Try, if you try to open the, the dryer, you either hit your knees or you have to open it before you walk in. There's a load in there right now. Oh yeah, how do you, you gotta go like this. Yeah. Well, you, you just gotta switch the door. You can switch the door, you unscrew it. Okay, so this is a three bedroom. All right, so what, this is your this bedroom is, or office? My room, this is my bedroom. I already have to get my bed out. Um, yeah, this is just my bedroom. I, my my bed was on this side. It was just a twin bed, and then my. So you you didn't even get a bathroom. You still have to share. Yeah, I had to share a bathroom with somebody. And then you had a small little closet. <laughs> the closet was good size. I was kind of surprised. I was happy with the size of the room. So then this is the other little bathroom. Again, they redid all the bathrooms. That little shower tub is still same tub. It looks like at the third room. So you would fit two people in here. And Patterson, Keith and I bonded very, very quick. I love you, my little people. The mattresses were so uncomfortable. They were almost like prison mattresses. They were like these rubber mattresses that they squeaked every time. You were just in pain the entire time. And then if like you're in a relationship and you try to fit two people on there, it was like Tetris. It was like impossible to fit like two people on a mattress. A new dishwasher. They did a good job with turning um, literally a pile of crap into something livable. The laundry machines used to be out in the hallway, if I remember correctly. You would still be on the Cosper Facebook page and everything. Like this weird like foot fetish bandit. There was like some guy who would like, was hopping the fences and like while people were taking laundry, you like take pictures of their feet, like run off. Weird stuff happened here at Vista. Now this is some Vista weight quality over here. I thought there were dumpsters over here. Because when people were moving out, you could always find really good stuff at the dumpster. I remember I got like this pull-up bar for Jacob and we would like all try to do pull-ups in the apartment but I got it from the dumpster like right over here in Vista. Queen's ghost is here in this minivan. <laughs> she, she's right there. Queen must be upset you know she comes to Vista away for her afterlife party to indulge in all the sinfulness that happened here. There's nothing happening now. It's very quiet. Got a little shower station right there. Shower for the Queen. It's ghost walk. Yeah. <laughs> so they have future resident parking. We're gonna kind of walk over to the clubhouse right now oh, they redid the clubhouse vista walk wow this right here is an office. now here's like a little common area right you got some new tvs they redid all of this it is like 100 degrees in here though it is really hot some new walls some tables to relax Pool table. So you lived here a year. You've never walked in here. I've never been in. Here. <laughs> I've never been in here. I used to go. I would go from my car to my apartment, back to my car, and then I go to the mail room. But I never, never walked around. A TV, a fireplace, place to sit. Everything is so modern. And then we keep doing Vista, Vista Way lifestyle. They have a little computer lab right here, place to sit. All right, let's head out to the pool. All right, so here's a look at the pool. Now they used to have a hot tub. They had a hot tub here. They had to fill it in with concrete. There were too many CPs hanging out and moving furniture in a hot tub. I know there's kids who watch this video, so it's like I can't go too adult with actually what happened here. Um, but they had to fill it in with a hot tub. When they built Flamingo Crossing, people said they um, put a hot tub in there. It's happening again in Flamingo Crossing. Did you not learn, Disney? Yeah, no pool parties happening out here. Is this the hot tub dial? A relic. Was it right here? Is this where multiple kids were conceived right, right here? All right, let me know down in the comments. What are some crazy Vista Way stories that you guys have? We did get the pricing. A uh, two bedroom is gonna be $1,900. Three bedroom is $2,250. Plus uh, water, plus then a valet for the trash and all these other service fees. I know, Vista Way. There's so many illegal activities that were happening here. I'm sure Dizzy knew about them. There's no longer a basketball court. It's a tennis court. If I remember correctly, this is where the basketball court was. Now it's a tennis court. Super fancy here. Yeah. They're they're too good for basketball court. It is so quiet. During the college program, there'd just be hundreds of cast members walking to and from different apartments, going to work at all you know hours of the day. It's just quiet. There's no one here. Now we're heading over to this building now. There's a little bit of a remnant of Vista Way. We got a little hit of Mickey right here. So wild. 
All right, now we're gonna go into the gym. And then we have another Mickey right here. All right, so this is all a gym now. It's all new equipment. Very nice. Around every building, there's a dog waste station with bags and a little trash can. Management was great here. Went in and talked to them and everything. I think if you're coming to move to Orlando, I think this is a great spot. Pretty affordable for the area. You're about 10 to 15 minutes away from Disney. Probably about 25 minutes, 30 minutes to Universal. Prices are just going up and up and up with just how much stuff costs to live in Orlando. So this is a decent little place, right? It's quiet, well refurbed. You shine a black light on the wall. You hopefully won't see anything now. Here's a little look at the second pool. We're over by the mail room now. All right, let's go into the mail room. Nice and refurbished. Yeah. And this is a nail. This isn't just a little trash can for your packages. There's the whole parcel locker area. If I remember correctly, this was the bus stop. I think the bus would kind of like loop around over there. But you'd get picked up here and dropped off here if you were living at Vista Way to get to the parks. Because a lot of people didn't have cars, so you had to rely on this terrible, horrendous bus system that would always catch on fire. That's just like a bunch of little places to sit. This says, do not enter. Yeah, this is definitely where the buses used to be. Like, look at how old all the trees are. What did this hold? It's like inside the tree. It feels just like yesterday I was having my vacuum stolen here in Vista Way. What did I just do? You <laughs> put your stuff in the wrong person's car and they drove away. <laughs> yes. I put my stuff in someone else's car and they drove off with it. Yes. Someone stole my vacuum. <laughs> I got some landscaping done. All the buildings have been painted. All right, so let's head out of Vista Way. I don't know, what is this called? Emerald Grove. So you would walk this way to and from and they would have security over here to kind of check your ID through the uh, walkway. God, how many times do people make this walk? <laughs> All right, so I want to go see the security little hut real quick. Again, this is where you go up and down. There were certain times where you couldn't enter in if you weren't living at the complex. So if you want to go visit your friends or drop your friends off, it was a whole big ordeal. They would like open up your trunk, check every single inch as if it was a border crossing or something. It was not a fun experience driving a car because just security was just so hostile. I remember this is like their little office. Yeah, blacked out. But they still had the little machines here, which is interesting. Does it work? No. no. Same little globes. There's a sign that used to be here, and it says, yeah, visitor to the left, resident to the right. So if you're a resident, you just show your ID. If you're a visitor, you have to go through this whole process at the security gate. All right, so I think this is the gate that all the buses would come into right here. But we're going to walk over to Chick-fil-A. Got how many late nights coming to this Wendy's next to the gas station to get food? Hey, here's the Chick-fil-A. It looks closed and abandoned now. I know when um, like CP's left, the Chick-fil-A was really struggling with like bringing in people. Okay, the Chick-fil-A is now abandoned. Wow. I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've ever seen an abandoned Chick-fil-A before. So off to the left is where the little playground was. All the booths would be in there. The drive through would be backed up all the way into the road. There's just never enough room here. Sign is all gone. The numbers are starting to peel. You can still see the outline of the Chick-fil-A logo. The drive through fans are starting to rust. There's mold up there. What is this gonna become? We've moved. Okay, so they've gone to a new location, it looks like. Look at the just trash over there now. Kind of seeing there a little bit. Soda fountain all the way in the back. The old menu board. Off to the left here, you would like put a pin of where you were visiting from. The little queue. Still one sign. The meal delivery zone. You're gonna be waiting a little bit for your meal, I think. Cracking right there. Still see the padding for the playground. All right, so apparently it is the Wendy's right here. The uh, Chick-fil-A has moved to right there. What the, what is this? $8.88 for gas, a gallon. Here's the Walgreens. This is where we'd all get our uh, alcohol, right? I pick up that very fancy Mike's Hard Lemonade. And then here's the new Chick-fil-A that just popped up. Okay, we just got in Chick-fil-A. They have a train that goes along the entire top. This is awesome. So they have like the history of Chick-fil-A, right? About kind of when it started in 1946, where it is now. But 
if you come over here to where the bathrooms are, you push this button, traininstallation.com. You hit the button and the train starts moving. And if you look, there's little cows, and then there they go. So there's a whole loop around the entire Chick-fil-A. There's little zigzags over there, a little loop. They even have the little crossing light right there. Chick-fil-A tomorrow. What is that uh, little spaceship berth right there? Since this is a new modern Chick-fil-A, it's actually big enough. So there's enough parking. The drive through is two lanes for the employees. It's like an open door, right? Because they're always walking the orders all over the place. They normally have someone outside. So this is covered, protects everybody from the Florida weather, but it's like a door that they could walk in and out of to deliver the drive through orders. We got new McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Walgreens, you got gas station Wendy's. So this is kind of a good spot, right? There's a lot of great fast food options. If you're a cast member, because when you work too much, you don't want to cook. We all just kind of survive off fast food. So there's a lot of great offerings here now. Now the party buses would pick you up over here by the mechanic shop and take you down to Senior Frogs and everything. Do they still have party buses? Flamingo Crossing? I just remember these things were so sketchy. I heard stories. Okay, welcome back. Vista Way's really nice now, or whatever it's called now. It's pretty nice. I will say just the cost of apartments is insane, but it is kind of affordable at the new Vista Way. I know the college program kids are absolutely screwed right now because their rent is around $250 a week. Their paycheck is around like $1,600. So it's about $1,000 a month. They're left with $600 to survive off of a month. You can't do that. So all the college program kids now pretty much have to have their parents pay thousands of dollars for them to work at Disney. That's the current state of the college program. When I was in the college program, I think our rent was like $110 a week. Vista Way was about like $10 or $20 cheaper because it was Vista Way. But man, that name will live on forever. Vista Way with a party. Don't stop. You say Vista Way and somebody's been in the college program, they're gonna know what you're talking about. Vista Way. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know down in the comments, what are some crazy Vista Way stories you have or just crazy college program stories. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family. I love the family. Because I'm going to keep you up to date on all things Disney and theme parks around the country. I love you all. Long live Vista Way. <laughs> And I'll see y'all very soon. I think we did have a raccoon in our ceiling. Here's the Walgreens. This is where we'd all get our uh, alcohol, right? I pick up that Hooterade? 